A Kid Explains History! Hello and welcome back to A Kid Explains History. My name is Mr. Q. Today we're going to talk about one of the greatest women in American history, Harriet Tubman. She helped slaves escape on a thing called the Underground Railroad. You know what I thought the first time I heard about the Underground Railroad? I thought it looked like this. After some research, I found out that the underground part actually means secret. And the railroad part means the path you took to get to states that didn't have slavery. Calling it an underground railroad was useful though, because people could use the name to create a top secret code. For instance, the ex-slaves who guided people called themselves conductors, just like with a train. They called the slaves they were helping passengers. Hunting places were called stations, which were located in barns, caves, and even under church floors. Brave station masters hid people in their own homes. It was against the law to help people escape from slavery, so everyone involved had to be great at keeping secrets. Like, I'm not kidding, great. Station masters were made up of a lot of different kinds of people, from free African Americans to white people who didn't like slavery. They were all called abolitionists, which comes from the word abolish, which means to do away with something. I abolish creepers. That didn't work. There are lots of words like that you have to find the meaning to to understand history. But what you do, it's way more fun. While people were trying to get rid of these horrible slave laws, people like Harriet Tubman had to take matters into their own hands. She was born a slave and she became one of the most famous conductors of the Underground Railroad. Now the thing that made Harriet Tubman great is that instead of just thinking about herself, she went back again and again to help other slaves and got really good at not getting caught. She knew that slaves didn't have to work on Sundays, so she left with her passengers on Saturday night. That way, the overseers didn't notice they were gone until Monday. She started leading them to Canada so they wouldn't have to worry about the Fugitive Slave Act which made people in northern states turn escape slaves in or risk being in trouble with the police themselves. That's just unfair. Slave owners were really, really angry at Harriet and put a bounty on her head. Sometimes people she was helping escape would have second thoughts, but Harriet knew if they were allowed to go back, they would be forced to tell their masters which way she was going, and then everyone would get caught. So when someone said they wanted to, Harriet would point her gun at them and say, you go on or you die. This was no time for messing about. By 1860, the Civil War broke out and Harriet Tubman found other ways to help. She acted as a spy for the North and also worked as a nurse. Back then, women weren't allowed to be in the army, but she did it anyway, acting as a guide for troops at the Coombahee River Raid, where they burned plantations and freed over 700 slaves. Harriet Tubman lived into her 90s. In the end, she was giving speeches with women like Susan B. Anthony, helping to get women the right to vote. She never stopped trying to make the world a better place. Thanks for watching. I wanna give a big thanks to everyone who subscribed already and please like and share these videos. And also, I got something exciting to tell you. We have a new website. You can see it at kidexplainshistory.com. See you next time. Bye.